What's up guys, Ruxa34 back with another opening and in this video, this is the 16,000 subscriber special. I don't do one for every 1,000, but I want to do an epic video for 16,000. We're 4,000 away from the 20,000 subscriber special, which is going to be even more epic. But for this one, we're going to be opening Heavy Tournament Pack 4, Heavy Tournament Pack 5, Heavy Champion Pack 5, and then I think this one's super light, so we'll see what's in that one. Then Unweighed OTS, we have all these different OTS packs. We have some Legacy packs, LOB and Invasion of Chaos. This is going to be insane. Hopefully we'll pull something really awesome, but before we get into that, the giveaway for this video is a big one. So I'm going to be giving away a Sealed Duelist Pack Collection 10. So you get these packs inside, a Sealed 10 with Jaden... Zane and Jesse on the front and then you will also get these cards You're gonna get a DB1 relinquished Azure Eyes Silver Dragon Blue Eyes White Dragon This is a very creased up but original SDK Blue Eyes Another SDK this one looks like it might have been like a 2004 print and with the ones that they had in the um, Big long boxes. I can't remember what they were called. So there's the SDK of that one. There's the SDJ Red Eyes We've got a 20th Anniversary Dark Magician. We've got an MVP Gold Dark Magician. We've got a Dupo, Yugi's Legendary Dex, MVP 1 Gold, SDY. We've got Dark Magician of Chaos from Dusa, and an SYE Dark Magician. You can win all these cards and the 10. And this video, the giveaway is going to be a little different, guys. The giveaway isn't just leave a comment and, I, and the random comment generator picks one. Because I've been getting too much complaining from you guys about not winning your giveaways. So look, here's the thing. Giveaways are for people who support the channel. If you don't want to support the channel and you're just here for the giveaway, that's fine. But if you're gonna complain about it, it's like, there's nothing I can do. Cause I want to give to people who support the channel and I don't pick it anyway, it's random. So for this one, I am gonna pick it. And here's what you can do. This one is earned. One winner. I want the most creative comment you can make about this video. I don't care what it is. I want it to be funny, interesting, something. I want it to be something. And then I'm going to do a video next week. I'm going to go through the comments and I'm going to react to them, whatever you want to see. And then we're going to pick one on video and I'm going to post that next week for the winner. So I'm going to go through the comments, everything you guys came up with. Someone left an awesome like crossword kind of comment last week and that's what kind of made me think, you know what, comments can be really fun and I like went through and like figured it out so that was cool so but that's already been done so maybe I mean that would be cool to do it again but I'm saying that probably won't win so I'm gonna I'm gonna read your comments next week guys we're gonna post a video the winner gets all this stuff so all you guys who complain about giveaways here's your chance you can earn it so let's get into the video here we go this is gonna be a lot of fun I think that's gonna be a lot of fun to go through the comments and see what you guys come up with because I think it'll be pretty cool and then normally we'll probably go back to the randomizer because it's just too hard for me to like and then it gets a little crazy handpicking one myself just doing the randomizer makes it more fair in my opinion this this one's just a little bit different so here we go we're three minutes in already so let's get going let's start off with an OTS tournament pack three I don't even know what's in here so let's see if we can pull like an ultimate rare of some kind oh there's the front one already okay Oasis of Dragon Souls is what our super rare is okay oh it's upside down that's what the problem was Cypher Soldier and Bl Black Dragon's Chick? What? What is this? Did they change the name from Red Eyes B Chick? Okay, which one came first? Is this the new name? I'm confused. I'm very confused because that definitely used to be Red Eyes B Chick, or at least that's the one I saw. Maybe that's the newer version. Okay, what do we want to go into next? Let's go to... We're going to save the heavies probably for later. Let's go into an OTS Tournament Pack 7. This is going to be a longer video. Last time I did a special, the 15k special... I had a comment that said that I just get it, get to the packs or something. And like, and it was like, because I was opening OTS one, I was like, OTS one is extremely rare, first of all. And then if you, you know, you guys, you can skip through the video. Like, I'd rather you not, but if you do, like you can do it. Like if you just want to watch the packs at the end, go for it. You can, you can do that too. But I personally want to take my time opening these up because I mean, that's what I'm doing it. I'm enjoying it. I'm not just doing it for the video. There's a broken bamboo sword. Okay, let me get my sleeves. Yeah, I'm not just... Yeah, if I was just doing it for the video, then I I don't know. But for me, I'm, you know, taking my time. I'm enjoying it. What in the world is on here? Oh, it looks like I spit on that card. That is not good. Here we go. Oh, my sleeves are low. I'm definitely going to have to take a break. Find some. 
later. All right, so we have a lot of OTS packs here, so hopefully we can get an ultimate rare. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, Galaxy has Tachyon common. Oh, as I say, it's Sky Striker Ace Shizuki. That is a good ultimate rare. Nice pull. This is my second time pulling this one. That is pretty awesome. So is this... No, what's the other one from 9? Stratos. So I've pulled two or three Stratos. I've pulled two of these. I don't know if I've pulled the other one from this set. So we're pulling a lot of a lot of these. That's a cool one, though. A really cool ultimate rare. That's a good way to start. The 16K special. All right. Let us continue. Make sure you guys subscribe. The 20K special is... I have more more things coming for the 20k special. It's going to be nuts. It's going to be nuts. Trickstar token. Yeah, it's going to be crazy, guys. It's not just champion pack. It's not just LOB first edition. There's more. So I think you're really going to like it. I think you're really going to like it. And I'm hoping that we pull something crazy. That would be great. Okay, next. Ooh, clear wing synchro dragon. We do have OTS 13. Where are my sleeves? I, I do have more, actually. That I used earlier. Okay, let's go into an OTS one pack. I'm getting really excited. Maybe we'll open up a champion pack next. Oh, I forgot. OTS one ruins it right away. Perm pal, lizard draw, white stone of legend. Okay, let's get into an LOB pack and let's see if we can pull something crazy. I do have some plans in mind for set. I'm probably gonna do a 17, 18, and 19k special just to lead up to the big 20k special. And I have some really good ideas. I think you guys are gonna really like those videos. They're going to be pretty awesome. Green Phantom King, Flower Wolf. So, nothing on that first LOB pack. And let's go into one of the, Let's do the light champion pack. So, this is a champion pack that was extra light. So, I only am opening the heavy packs and then this one. The other ones I'm going to keep sealed because there's like 50 packs. And then you pull like a hollow every like 12 packs or something. It takes forever. And then also, the value of these is still super high as light packs. Like, but as long as you say they're light packs, do not sell them unweighed. Of course, that is not right. So here we go. Champion pack five. Let's see what's in this super light one. Oh, I just destroyed that wrapper. Okay, double costin, spirit barrier, and pulling the rug. That's a funny card. Pulling the rug rare, champion pack five. So there we go. That's the rare. The others should have hollows in them. Let's get back to our OTS. Let's, let's do our newest pack, the OTS 13. Maybe we can pull something good out of here. So far, the only ultimates I've pulled are Book of Moon, which is good. <laughs> Bahamut Shark. Bahamut. Super rare. That is a good one. That's like $1.50, I think, which is pretty solid. Pretty solid. Okay. Let's do an Invasion of Chaos. Let's see if we can pull something crazy. Make sure you guys check out that video where we pulled an awesome card in the last pack of Invasion of Chaos. It was pretty crazy. It was very crazy. Chaos Sorcerer, a good one. Let's set that aside. Over there. Gigantis, that's not bad. Jade Insect Whistle and Destruction Ring. Okay, Dawn Turtle. Soul Absorption. Chop Man, the Desperate Outlaw. Okay. What should we do? Heavy pack? Heavy champion pack? We'll save we're gonna save the the not the real, but the original tournament packs for last. We have a chance at morphing jar in here, guys. Morphing jar TP4. We have a chance at Royal Decree. Like those are definitely what I want. Here we go. TP5, we could pull another Needleworm. That'd be crazy. Okay. Curse Seal, the Forbidden Spell. Let's pull an Epic Arc. Oh, DD Crow's in here. DD Crow's everywhere. We're just pulling them every day. All right, what super can we get? Magical Merchant. Okay, that's pretty awesome. Super rare Magical Merchant. Has good value because of GOAT format. I've heard that the quality out of the packs for uh, Champion Pack 5 is not the best, but this looks pretty good, actually. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. That actually looks pretty clean. So, Magical Merchant, that is really sweet. Check that dude out. He definitely looks like somebody from uh, The Phantom Menace, like in um, Tatooine or something like that. That's what that reminds me of. Or, or in uh, Jabba's Palace, that's what he reminds me of. That's pretty cool. DD Crow, we'll set him over here with the good commons. All right, so two nice pulls. Let's go into OTS3. I have no idea what's in OTS3. So, hopefully, we'll pull something good. Oh, and I already ruined it again. I forgot. Chaos Trap Hole. Super rare. Black Dragon's Chick again and Knight and Sorcerer. Let me know if I miss any good commons. Definitely possible that I do. Especially on that one since I have never opened OTS 3 until this video. Okay, let's go OTS 7. This one is considered the worst one, I think. Most by a lot of people. Okay, rare value. Token Feastival and Paleozoic 
Dinomiscus. I don't think I've pulled an ultimate out of here before. So, don't have great luck with it. Paleozoic Dynamiscus. Alright, OTS-8. This is where you can pull the scapegoats. We've pulled two already before, so probably not going to do that again. Maybe a different one. Ojama Red. And Twin Triangle Dragon. Ah, you old tin Twin Triangle Dragon. Ojama Red. That is a decent common. Okay. Yeah, and make sure you guys go check out my battle video yesterday against yu gi -Moh, and then make sure you check out his video. It was crazy. Make sure you check that out. It was really good. I'll try and link my video, and then you can see his video through my video. It was pretty awesome. Okay, Sekka's Light. There we go. I used to think that was decent, and then I realized it wasn't. Okay, let's get into... Let's do another Invasion of Chaos. Let's see if we can pull something chaotic. Here we go. Heart of the Underdog, Balloon Lizard, Cannonball, Spear Shellfish, Grand Maju de Aiza, Curse of Darkness, Ujama Delta Hurricane, Soul Absorption, Grand Endora, and Chaos End. All right. Let's do OTS 10, and then we'll do OTS 1. Then we'll get into the biggest packs. Maybe we'll get some crazy pulls out of there. Mythical Bestiari, Super Quantile Mech Beast, Magna Ligger. I don't know what that said. All right. Shurina. Shurinu. Shurinu. Susina. Su. Shurinu. Sun Saga. Sun Saga. Okay. There we go. We, we got it. Too many S's. That was difficult. OTS1. Oh, I ruined it. Oh, it's an ultimate rare though. Bounceful Artemis. This is, I think, the worst one in the set because the other one is, um, there's Dark Law. Obviously, we've pulled that twice. And then there is... Um, what is it? Uh, Vanity's Fiend. Vanity's Fiend, that's right. And then Advanced Zone and Offerings to the Doom. So here we go. We got an Ultimate Rare, Bounceful Artemis. The first time I have pulled this one. That's pretty sweet. OTS1, our second ulti of the opening. That's pretty good luck, because they're about 1 in 16, 1 in 17 packs. So pretty good luck. We have LOB. Should we save LOB? Let's do one of these, and then we'll do LOB. Maybe we can pull Blue Eyes. Okay, from here, it didn't spoil it last time, I think, right? All right, these bit these are like barely sealed. Like that was super easy to open. Okay. DD Crow again. DD Crow absolutely loves us. Spirit Barrier and what are we going to get? A giant germ. Oh, there's the silvering that uh House of Chance was talking about. He said right out of the pack. It's real bad. I mean, that is real bad. You can see it at the top as well. It wasn't on our merchant though. That was good. Giant Germ is a really cool one. That's just a throwback. I think it's Magic Ruler when this first came out. I mean, just look at that card. That's nostalgic right there. Brings it back. All right. DD Crow. We've got two already. Let's go into this LOB pack. Let's pull something insane. Make sure you guys like the video and subscribe if you are enjoying it. And of course, share the video. That, that is always appreciated. Really like when you guys do that. Okay. Larvis. Can we pull Blue Eyes? Petite Dragon. Okay. Nothing out of the... Nothing out of the LOB, Karama, and Mystical Moon. Maybe in the future, we'll open more of those and get some fire. I'm thinking that we will. Okay, we have five packs left. Three champion pack, five. We have tournament pack five and tournament pack four. Okay, we're going to do tournament pack five right now. Then we're going to do three champion pack. Then we're going to finish with tournament pack four. Okay, what we want out of here, we want a Needle Worm or the ultra rare luminous soldier those are my goals we did pull a needle worm already oh there it is big shield gardener it's right in the front okay i think that's true with tournament pack four as well because i have opened okay check out when we opened tournament pack five last time also i opened tournament pack four i'll try and add that up there as well a long time ago they were not actually mine but it was pretty crazy so big shield gardener i have or i do have two of these because uh did i pull one Okay, wait a second. One was pulled for me by Yu-Gi-Oh! Tube, and then he submitted it, and we got an 8, which is crazy. And then, I may have pulled another one at some point. There is Big Shield Gardena. Super rare. That's pretty cool. The centering is definitely better than the last one I had, so maybe this one would have a chance at getting graded. I'll definitely check that one out. But a pretty nice pull. I really like that card. It's just classic. The other two cards in the pack were Beast King of the Swamp and Tornado Bird. We will be having more tournament pack openings coming. And we're opening champion pack one for the 20k as well. So it's going to be crazy. Here, we want the morphing jar. That's what we want. Royal Decree is also insane as the ultra rare. Okay, let's go to champion pack. I got to remind myself not to spoil it for the, the TP4 pack. Okay, let's see if the silvering 
We'll chill out a little bit on this one. Because it was pretty bad on the last one. Oh, Amazon of the Seas. This is actually a, like a $3 common, I remember. Because I got it in the 10k special. Okay, Curse Seal of the Forbidden Spell. And... A Fiend Sanctuary. This is the ultra rare. Check that out. And the silvering, there is a tiny bit of whitening down there on the bottom. But it doesn't look like the silvering is too bad. It's not too bad. Also, I, for, I have not mentioned, we do want to trap Dust Shoot over here. So far, we haven't pulled one. I think it's the most expensive card. It's a super rare. But that is a sweet Fiend Sanctuary. Check that card out. Ultra rare. That is going to be incredible for my tournament pack binder. Okay. Let me set. I'm going to sleeve this one up because this is like a $3 common. Amazon of the Seas. Okay. Three packs left. There's some potential huge cards in here. Trap Dust Shoot is what we want. Okay, wait. Was it spoiling it? It was, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. It wasn't. Yeah, okay. I'm getting confused. Here we go. Trap Dust Shoot. Can we pull it? We've had bad luck with trap cards. If you guys remember Champion Pack 4, check that out. We had bad luck pulling the trap card. Rescue Cat is in here. Oh, wow. That's a good super and... Magical Merchant Repeat. So we got two of him. He's actually a really good one, though. He's a solid super because he's used in Go format. So definitely a good one to repeat. Hopefully, we can get a Trap Dust Shoot in the last pack. Rescue Cat was definitely a good pull as well. It's a couple bucks. You guys saw we pulled the super rare version for Josh the other day. That was pretty cool. Okay, two packs left. Tournament Pack 4 and Champion Pack 5. Can we pull something incredible? I hope we can. Okay. Oh, man. All right, here we go. Can we pull the fire? Can we pull the trap dust shoot? Whew, here we go. Curse seal of the forbidden spell. Thousand knives. Okay, guys, hit the like button for luck. Whew, let's pull the big trap card. Yes, last pack. Trap dust shoot. Check out that silvering on the bottom. That is pretty rough though, but that's okay. Definitely not a candidate for a PSA 10, but definitely an incredible card. This card has gone up a lot since um, recently. I guess it got bought out or something on TCG. And these days when stuff gets bought, bought out, it's it might not come back with some of this rare stuff. So pretty cool to get a trap dust shoot. That's an incredible pull. Now we are into the final pack. Tournament pack four, the original tournament pack. This was the fourth ever, obviously, number four. There was no, I mean, there wasn't turbo packs. There was an OTS packs. There wasn't champion packs. This was the original tournament pack. So this can have the epic morphing jar. Can we do it? It should be at the front. So I got to remember not to spoil it. Okay, got to do my best not to spoil it. Open it without spoiling. Let's see if I can do it like this. Got to be really careful. Here we go. Do it like this without damaging the cards. We definitely do not want to damage a potential morphing jar. Royal decree, something like that. There's also a couple other cards, but there's a couple ones that you really want. So let's see if we can pull something crazy. First time I've opened these for myself. I have opened some packs with someone else before. So checked out that video up in the eye. It should be up there. And most of you guys haven't seen it because it was a long time ago. Okay. Okay, this is... There we go. That's going to work. That's going to work better. Okay. Is that bent? I hope not. I can't tell. We'll check it out in a minute. Okay, Rush Recklessly. The quality out of TP4 is usually awful, so it might be. Okay, Gravity Bind. Come on, here we go. Morphing Jar. Oh my goodness. That is an epic pull. Even as the super rare, that is insane. Let's check the centering. It is terrible, but that is okay. Straight from the pack, Morphing Jar. Oh my goodness. That is so awesome. And this card's gotten a lot more expensive because the TP2 version is so ridiculous now that this is like the more obtainable one. That is so cool, guys. We've had some really good luck with these single tournament packs like when we pulled the Needleworm. Wow. Morphing Jar. Oh my goodness. Check out that creepy eye. That is so awesome. Wow. That is incredible. Okay. I'm not even mad that we can't grade it. Let's check the back. I don't, let's see if it was bent. Okay, you guys can see the waxing back there a little bit. It's really not bad, actually. I've seen a lot worse on TP4. This you see right there, it's kind of wax. 
But it looks like it was not bent, so that's good. I thought originally it might have been bent. So there's a morphing jar, TP4, pulled for you guys for the 16K special. This was an epic opening. Let's go over what we got, guys. This was so awesome. All right, for super rares, we got a bunch of this stuff. A lot of this. Okay, that's a good card. Lizard draw, I think, is decent. There's some decent cards in here. Nothing too crazy because they're just super rares. I'll have to check the prices on these. I'm not really sure. So I'll check those after the video. I'm sure you guys will have seen them by now. But let's get into the epic pulls. We do have the commons that I thought were pretty good. Ojama Red. Gigantis. We got a Chaos Sorcerer. Two DD Crow, which was awesome. Rescue Cat. Amazon of the Seas, which is like a two, three dollar common. We also got two ulties. We got a Bountiful Artemis, our first time pulling this one. We got a Sky Striker Ace, Shizuki. That was incredible. Two, no, no, just one Giant Germ. But that was a cool pull. I really like Giant Germ. We got two Magical Merchants. That was a good one to get a double of. Pretty good. Not as good as the Trap Dust Shoe, but still pretty good. We got the Trap Dust Shoe on the last pack, which was insane. We got the Ultra Rare, which is, I think, probably the best artwork of the set. It's insane. Absolutely awesome. Then we pulled out of the TP packs. Big Shield, Garna, Epic, Anim. Wait, this is in the anime, right? I'm trying to think. Big Shield Garna, who uses it? Okay, I I just blanked. All right, let me know who uses Big Shield Garna. And then finally, Morphing Jar. Absolutely incredible, guys. We pulled a Morphing Jar. That is so cool. Not TP2, but even the TP4s are awesome these days. So that was an insane opening. That was awesome. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Remember, for the giveaway in this video, all about how creative, interesting, like, whatever you think that I think is going to be awesome, the number one comment, I'm going to go through them in a video next week, and you guys can let me know. Well, I guess I'm going to let you guys know. I will let you guys know if you guys let me know that it was funny, that it was great, that it was awesome. It doesn't have to be funny. It could be interesting. You could tell a story. Anything. It's going to be awesome. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I enjoyed this video. This was a lot of fun. 16,000, 4,000 away from 20,000. I have a 17, 18, and 19,000 subscriber special planned. And yeah, see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace. Oh! Yes. Okay, you. Oh. Elemental Hero, Dark Bright. Boom. Oh! <laughs>